Hello YouTube. Today I would like to just uh, show a little um, acquisition. It is related to uh, my model hobby, uh, but it's a little bit of a different product today. And it is essentially, I'll open it, a stabilized smartphone gimbal. Now, some of you uh, already know what a gimbal is. You see it in conjunction with many uh, drones. It stabilizes the camera. But this is a handheld model. So when I'm making videos, uh, the camera uh, pans more naturally and is much more stabilized and vibration free. And apart from that, there are a few other uh, capabilities which are actually the reason why I bought it, uh, which I will explain very soon. Well, as you can see, it comes with a very sturdy case. In the pack, there's also a shoulder sling that goes with the case. I haven't unpacked that yet. I don't think I'll use it. In the pack, you have a lanyard with the standard tripod screw. You set it into the you screw it into the uh, handle and you can have it around your wrist so that you don't lose it. It has, uh, I think it's a lithium battery, uh, about a three f and a half, about uh, three and a half thousand milliampere. Uh, it can be uh, changed so you can buy extra batteries. Otherwise, you can charge it directly with a USB stick so and it charges the battery. Another uh, capability is while your smartphone is uh, uh, on it, it can also via a little extra accessory lead also charge your smartphone. It also comes with this little uh, GoPro action cam uh, mount so if you don't want to use your smartphone you can use this mount. I don't think I'll be using it because I rarely use my GoPro nowadays. And then of course a very good a manual and it's not in Chinglish Chinese and English no it is basically understandable English anyway back to the product here we have battery I'll try to take it out with one hand it's a little bit difficult but um that's the battery and it can be slipped out and changed if desired at the back, you have this clamp that you screw down to hold your smartphone fast and up, which is actually a very uh, smart uh, system instead of these uh, spring systems that uh, really don't hold that well. Well, I'd set up an old mobile phone and give you a quick, uh, very, very quick demonstration. Okay, first and foremost, you put in your mobile phone. As you can see here, it's one of the kids' old Samsung phones that's cracked. And uh, I'm just using it for this demonstration. You put it into your gimbal. Make sure it is roughly stabilized by using the adjustment knob right there. As soon as that is done, I'll just switch it on. Oh, it has a joystick here and an on switch and quick press okay what happened was I when I took out the screw the battery fell out and I put it uh, in with the wrong polarity so I've just changed the battery's uh, orientation and I'll try again long press for two seconds they say and the gimbal is activated now notice you can take portrait and you can take landscape and if you turn it completely round you can have it in the under slung mode take it back up and each time you press this button it centralizes itself what's very good about it is that if i put it on the lock function now that's locked irrespective of how i move myself around the camera remains stable now you can get a lot of gimbals in a much cheaper range but what's very good about this gimbal is that it has a function that is related to my hobby 
and uh, that's namely uh, RC models and um, this gimbal is uh, capable when stationary uh, of locking it on a particular target person or even a face and as that uh, target moves around it automatically follows that target so I don't uh, need uh, any other person uh, around when I'm making my videos uh, and it's uh, one of the challenges I usually have is uh, both operating the remote controls and uh, holding my camera uh, and uh, recording the video. Now this will solve that problem uh, by uh, just putting this on a tripod uh, via the tripod screw at the back and then locking it on my uh, target and then it will automatically function as a cameraman uh, by following uh, the model vehicle or drone or plane or whatever it is boat uh, around while I concentrate on operating the model and showing you guys its futures well that's the gimbal and uh, a quick video to show it locked and moving here's the quick demo video as you can see I've selected the target by making that green square in the middle of the screen and locked the gimbal on the target it should track I've placed the gimbal on a tripod stand just for demonstrative purposes As you can see, it follows the target automatically without any further input. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.